truck trailer chassis is lined up at a factory in Cincinnati, all set to receive sides, roofs, doors, and other parts. But what kind of sides, roofs, and doors should they get? Orders from companies that will use the trailers indicate an almost unlimited range of jobs for the vehicles. And experience, as well as tests in a rolling trailer laboratory, prove that it's possible to build a trailer to handle any load on any road anywhere. Special electronic devices reveal precisely where and how much stress and strain will be put on every part by the type of cargo to be carried. Having established that it's possible to build a special vehicle for every special need, does that mean any manufacturer could possibly do so and still remain in business? Well, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what they do. Roofs are available in a number of shapes and materials. So are sides and all the other parts. Taken all in all, there are 20,000 possible combinations of the various components. And by figuring out in advance with the customer what his specific requirements will be in each department, they come up with a trailer which is custom made under mass production methods. The pre-assembled sections now come together for final assembly, guided by a production control system that makes sure the type of roof specified by customer X is joined to the type of side panels he called for. It's somewhat like buying a new car. You order such and such a color, so much horsepower, this type of accessory, that type of transmission, and so on, and at the factory, these parts all start moving together into the unique arrangement you demanded. Take the interior of the trailer. It can be lined with glass fiber, plywood, oak or steel slats, or corrugated aluminum. The customer decides, and by exercising his power of decision, it's possible for him to wind up with a trailer like no other trailer on earth but one that suited precisely to his needs, containing no piece of equipment not required for his purposes. With 25,000 U.S. communities entirely dependent on trucks for deliveries from outside, and other communities dependent on them to a lesser degree, the industry has to stay on its toes and does.